fall, even though temperatures have sure been up and down. Fall season is most definitely here, and that means it is a great time for apple picking and, of course, getting your pumpkins ready for Halloween. But as NBC5's Jackie Pascal shows us, farmers in the region got a bit of a late start to those fall crops this year. Much like the fall season, oh my, it's this group from a Colchester daycare choose a pumpkin you're able to carry, grabbing their gourds yeah. before it's too late. The choices are much bigger this year than any other year that I remember at this point. That's a big one. The owner of Sam Mazza's farm says this is because of a great pollination season, which she's thankful for after a tricky grounds for growing. We were a little bit frustrated in the spring when the rain just continued to fall and made the fields really wet. This pushed back the pumpkins, the corn maize, and over at Shelburne Orchards, the apples. All hands on deck, it seems like, for a very short period of time. The pickers have their hands and buckets full. Not just the volume, but the, the quality, quality of the apples are good this year. Orchard owner Nick Coles says the pollination also helped his crops. Good all around apple. He's hoping the season of full trees and apple picking will run later because of its delayed start. They're having the right balance of sun and rain. Exactly what these kids are singing and screaming about. This is a good pumpkin. They're getting their pumpkins at the perfect size. It's a pumpkin. And time before the frost sets in, and they have to say, See you next year. Well, that was the cutest thing you're going to see all morning. No, see right? See you next year. Adorable little kid. That kiddos. was really cute. We see Vice Jackie Pascal reporting there. People at the Orchard and Mazza's Farm say they get your fall activities done while you can before the pumpkins rot and the apples go past their prime. Bearer of bad news. Act while you can. <laughs>